Welcome back to Kingdom Business. We have Jackie, uh, the owner of Vault Cosmetics, uh, taking us through how she began that business. Now, Jackie, before the break, mm -hmm. you were talking about how it's more than just cosmetics now. Oh, yeah. Well, why why do you say that? Can I just tell you that there's this amazing pastor, okay. Pastor Minyara Dunya Pujiga. Okay. She belongs to UFIC in Chinoy. All right. She's a motivational speaker. She's more than a pastor. Okay. And these women look up to her. And, you know, we talked and she said, Jackie, I want you to come in and show these women that things can be bigger and better and they can believe in themselves because some of them have really um, horrific stories. Okay. And I shared my stories with her. And she said, she shared my stories with the women. Wow. And when we all came together yesterday, it was just amazing because it was them testifying on how makeup has just given them this cape of doing whatever they want to do. And when they saw me, it was like, oh my God, it's believable. She's right here, right now. Wow. Interesting. Empowering women mm. uh, through that that message. Right. Now, now, the misconception before was that, hey, church people don't do makeup. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and, and it's interesting that you say you're empowering them yes. in, in that congregation. Right, And then right. Uh, what, what impact did you see there in Chinoy yesterday? Oh, impact. I mean, it was, you know, one lady got up and she was like, you know, my husband said to me after I got my makeover from Vault, you look so beautiful. And he hadn't said it since their wedding day. Wow. So wow. it, it's, it's, it's a matter of people get older yeah. and they need help. Yeah. You know, people that are young, there's, there's a lot of things that happen in life. The weather can play a big part. Mm, mm. But if you can make yourself look great, why not? Mm. So yeah, that was great. Now in your journey, that business journey with Vault, mm. what are some of your, your pillars of support? The fans. Okay. Biggest pillar. I mean, let me tell you something. It gets hard. You know, I, I have to deal with a lot of stuff, trying to get the, the, the product in the country, being charged 100% to bring it in because wow. they see it as a luxury brand. Um, I, I finance it with my husband alone. We don't have any financiers. And, um, you know, there's times where, I, you know, things happen, you know, in businesses. And my pillar I'll go on Facebook because I got a lot of followers and I go yeah. on my Instagram and I express myself and I be, I'm very honest with them. Like, guys, today's a hard day for me. Yeah. Today, I really feel like giving up. And then all of a sudden, somebody comes up with a story and says, listen, this is what's happened to me today. I was wearing my lipstick and I felt like I could fly. I could do anything. Wow. I got a promotion. Wow. And, wow. and then right there, that's like amazing. And then, of course, my husband, my family, my friends, everybody. I mean, listen, everybody's a pillar. Even, even a stranger, you know, I'll, I'll go into a bathroom and then I'll say, oh my God, you look beautiful. I'll smile at them and they're like, oh my God, well, I recognize you from somewhere. And I'm like, okay. I recognize you too. <laughs> <laughs> I see myself in you. So, yeah, yeah. That is, that is nice. Now, you spoke about family. Yes. What, how many kids do you have? One. Just the one? Yeah, I've been married Come for... Come on, let's, let's get going. We need more. <laughs> this kitchen is closed. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> I've been married for um, 23 years. 23 years. Yes. Okay. We decided to have our kids later on, like our child later on in life. And All right. my daughter's a miracle. I had a miscarriage mm -hmm. and in the same year I lost my sister. Oh. And, um, and my mother went into the hospital. It was like... Tragedy after, after, after tragedy. tragedy. And my little daughter came at 27 weeks. Wow. And her name is Munyaradzi. She came and she was my comforter. Wow. And I just didn't want to chance it again. I was like, this is a miracle. I've been given this miracle by God. And um, why try it again? And how, how is she? How, how's, how's your daughter? How's Munyaradzi? She is the kindest baby in the whole wide world. Okay. Um, this kid is so kind. Wow. You know, she's, she's so sweet. Like, I mean, of course, I'm a little biased. Yeah. But she always gets prizes at school for kindness. <laughs> I'm like, can we get the school in there? <laughs> How about reading? <laughs> so no, but she's she's a sweetheart. She's she's very soft spoken. And and what does she has has Vault made an impact on her at all? Does she want to be like you? <laughs> I, I said to her, I said, Munya. Um, do you want to be a makeup artist like mommy or do you want to run Vault one day? She's like, no, mommy, I want to be a teacher. Really? Yep. That's what she says. She wants to be a teacher. She wants to be a teacher. Wow. Yeah. 
Wow. <laughs> That's what I said. I was like, really? <laughs> and I said, good for you, baby. Um, her first grade teacher made such an impact on her. She's always said she wants to be a teacher. Wow. Yeah, that's what she wants to be, so. Now, lessons, life's lessons as you have gone through that vulture. Wow, life's lessons. <sighs> um, forgiveness, mm. big one. It's hard to forgive. Okay. You know, um, you know when you have a business, your employees disappoint you? Yeah. Um, to the core. Okay. You know, I remember coming to Zim and uh, coming with this notion that I was going to come and save people. <laughs> <laughs> you know, the, and... Um, the American Jackie is oh, coming. Oh, of course, the American Jackie is coming. <laughs> and um, getting highly disappointed. Uh -huh. Because, you know, I'm, I'm looking at this person that doesn't have anything. I give them something. I give them a, 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 a talent and I give them something that no one can ever take away unless their hands are cut off. Yeah. And then they steal from me. Oh. Wow. You know, I'm like, wait, you stole from me? You know? And then turning around and seeing them a year later and someone coming to you and be like, oh my God, hi, Jackie. And I'm like, oh. <laughs> and then looking and saying, hi. Because wow. I know for a fact that this vault mm. is not me. Yeah. It's a gift that I was given. And once you get a gift from God, nobody can take that away from you. Amen. So to me, it's whatever, you know. Now, how, do you, how do you manage the time to run a global business? Because mm -hmm. it's a global business. You're in the US, you're in the UK, South Africa, Zimbabwe. How do you run a global business efficiently? So I don't pretend to be efficient. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, you know what, I just do it. You just do it. Okay. Um, you just do it and, and there's times, you know, cause like my daughter will complain, mommy always on the phone all the time because what happens is I'm in the United States, I yeah. go on set at 5 a.m. in the morning cause I'm the head department. Okay. And then I, I leave set at eight o'clock in the evening and then I get home and my husband's already cooked for my baby and she's getting to bed. I, I say a story, she goes to bed and then my girls here in Zimbabwe are up. What is the program mm, for mm, the day, mm. right? So I tell them, listen, I'll talk to you guys after this time. I'll spend time with my hubby. While he is sleeping, I get up, talk to the girls. Oh, I get up really early Jeez. and talk to the girls. That's it, and, um, hectic. It is, it's pretty hectic. But you know what? Huh. I think that when you love something, it yeah. doesn't become hectic. Yeah. Um, it's my adrenaline. I can't imagine doing anything else that's different. People know my energy. This mm. is me, 24-7. This is it, right here. Wow. <laughs> yeah. Amazing. I know. It is pretty. You're pretty talking about being on set. Mm -hmm. What are some of the current productions, TV-wise? So if, if you guys watch food, food chefs right now are the biggest celebrities. Okay. So I do Food Network a lot. Oh, right. So if you watch all those food shows, yes. I work yes. with those big-time celebrities. Yes. Um, food chefs, I, I pretty much do. Like wow. right now, we just shot um, The Baking Show. We did Food Network Star. I worked, you know, on that. And then right now when I go back, we're working on kids' uh, food show. Really? Yeah. Um, the next big chef. Wow. So we're doing that. Mm. Uh, do you get to eat a lot? <laughs> I do. Oh, like if you follow <laughs> it my... It doesn't show. It doesn't show. Let me tell you. Let uh. me tell you. If you follow my Snapchat, my Instagram, I'm always talking about set. Like when you're in the set in the United States, yeah. they give the production employees a lot of food. We have food 24-7. You know why? Because they don't want you to leave the set. Oh, and man. a well-fed crew is the best crew that you're going to have because they have no excuses. We need uh, the best do, of the best. Uh, how do you stay in shape then? I run hills. Really? I love hills. Okay. Love hills. So like sometimes I'll be driving and I'll be coming from work. If it's still light out, there's a place where there are these steps that have like a lot of hill, uh, like probably I think it's like a thousand steps, thousand and something steps going uphill. All right. So I'll just go up. I love it. I love it. It's like an adrenaline for me. Okay. So Christians out there, mm -hmm. exercise is good. Oh my God. Exercise is everything. Your <laughs> temple. This is your temple. If this temple is not feeling good, yeah. guess what? You're not going to feel good too. It's heavy, carrying around things that are heavy. Okay. A lot of people find it hard to believe mm -hmm. that you mm -hmm. are from Zimbabwe. Davi? The accent. Very, uh, very LA Bible. now. I'm from LA. You know, but I'm Tari. You're Tari. Kwa Tsomba. Oh. Have you been 
Of course. Mutari. Yes. Oh. Yeah, I love Mutari. It's beautiful. Oh, so Great. kwa Mutari cha iko. Kwa zomba. Oh. Ah. <laughs> well, Jackie, it's been a pleasure. Yes. Thank you for joining us on Kingdom Business. Thank you. And thank you for being an inspiration. Oh, thank you. Know, you. Your story is amazing. Thank you so much. The maid experience, <laughs> the negotiating at school. Yes. That's all amazing. And and the global business. Thank you. Thank well, you so much. Well, we wish you all the best. God thank bless you. you. Oh, thank you so much. It's been a pleasure. Thank you. Well, that's it for Kingdom Business for this week. We 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 have been inspired by Jackie out there. Her humble beginnings, but now running a, a global business enterprise fo- focusing on cosmetics, empowering women and, and men like Sylvester Stallone. <laughs> <laughs> Well, thank you for joining us. I'm Kumbirai Nongo signing off.